Hello, Ryan here from New Ideas and uh, RC Addict. Today we're going to be installing the uh, TrueAm dual battery kit for the Kawasaki Terex. This kit is pretty good. Um, should come with everything you need. And then here at New Ideas, we also make a battery tray that you can add on to it if you don't want to make your own. Uh, this kit, this blue wire is going to be for connecting uh, our voltmeter. We've got an 18 inch cable to go from the isolator to the main battery. There is a 58 inch cable to go from the isolator to under the seat of the Terex. Of course your ground for your auxiliary battery. This is the relay to drive the um, the voltage that turns the voltage on and off so you don't get battery drain and then of course the most important part this is the true am battery isolator that will make sure your main battery is charged first before charging your secondary and keep them from draining each other a um, couple of terminal covers the velcro to mount the thing and of course the instructions on how to do it all um, and the instructions are pretty straightforward, not too difficult. You just basically one to one, one side to one battery, one side to the other. Can't really screw it up. They're labeled. And then the, um, how to hook up. It's kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in a little bit here. So blue wire to your second battery, green wire, um, to your first battery in that blue cable that comes. There's two wires in there. Hook those up and hook them to your relay pretty straightforward and it's all there so let's jump right into it so I've removed my front wheel to make it a little bit easier to get my power wire going to the auxiliary battery in all right so I went ahead and I had this little piece of aluminum rod it's about two or three feet long I pushed it I kind of bent it a little bit it's aluminum it's pretty cheap I got a bunch of it laying around um, I just didn't want to take my center console off but you could just take the center console off I just push that up to the front and then I remove this wheel to make my life easier but there's my piece of aluminum I'm gonna just tape my wire to my aluminum and pull it through and then I'm gonna hook the I'll refish the wire up over the top here because I want it to come up to the battery tray when we're all said and done if I did this right I got a little snug, but there's my tape. Boom, there we go. And that's gonna connect to the second battery once I mount the battery tray um, and get it all bolted down. It's a little hard to see. Nope, can't do it. Fished it, there's a little gap up here that I fished it up through um, around that plastic and it's just gonna come right to my battery. That way it's not like coming through the flap right there or whatever. Out here on this side, I just brought it up over so nothing hits that drive shaft. And I'm going to be mounting my isolator um, right in here. You, I have a, I'm probably going to put it behind. Oops, I've got a, I got a windshield washer jug right here that I made a bracket for. So I'm gonna mount mine probably right behind that just for a little protection. It's fully waterproof and everything, so you'll be able to just mount it anywhere up under here. There's there's plenty of cable to get where I need to go. Um, and if you need a longer cable than the 58 inches that's provided, we can do a custom cable as well. So I've connected the battery terminal that's gonna go to the main battery and then my auxiliary one. And then I also have the um, 100 amp fuse panel block from Brute Performance to run all my lights and everything. So that's connected to my auxiliary. That way all my lights, radio, everything is powered off the second battery, not the main. And then this guy is just gonna go up behind that and live. I apologize for my machine not being clean, but at least it'll simulate what everybody else is going to be working on too. First thing you're going to want to do is pop the like six clips that hold this panel on. There's one inside here, there, there, three on the front. 
pull that off. That'll give you a lot easier access for installing the battery. If you purchase the optional battery tray through New Ideas site, it comes with this 3D printed block, pretty heavy print, and the Camco tray that you can bolt right on. It includes the bolts that you need to bolt the thing into the under the driver's seat of your buggy. And so that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, some guys just make their own. A couple of pieces of angle and weld them across from this pipe to there um, and then drill holes and you can just get a seven dollar battery tie down like this i've used a white bracket normally the kit comes with a black but i used a white one just so you can see it better as i bolt it down in here okay that was a dumb mistake make sure you put these bars up through before you bolt the tray down <laughs> so i used the five sixteenths well not five sixteenths drill bit i'll I'll look at the drill bit and put it in there, but line this up. Oops. There's a, the floor is bent. So there's this handy dandy little guy to line it up. There are two bolts. One's three and a half, one's three because of the curve in here. So once the hole is drilled, I'm going to put the bolt up from the bottom. like so and then the flange nut will go on it I got a washer on the bottom and then the flange nut the only thing about this bolt-on system as opposed to like welding in the brackets is this does this bolt is through your metal piece of skid plate right there. So it could get banged or hit, but I mean, so do the ones that hold the skid plate on. So whatever. all the dirt out so it sounds super crunchy ah this one's hard to get on it's just plastic and I think I pried the one side down too much because it's kind of warped just a little bit so it's kind of fighting me there it goes this had to use my man muscles so all right so now tray is all bolted in there the way it's supposed to be then all I got to do is drop the battery in now the battery is in its little home where it's gonna live my cable that I already ran is right there ground cable screwed it to the frame with that self tapper I did have to enlarge the hole for the battery I'm using everybody's battery might be a little bit different but there she is living in her home all right I got all my wiring back in place kind of a pain to line up all the bolts on the positive terminal um, then over here, the battery is securely mounted with these tie downs and I've got the cables connected. So now when I turn the key on, let me see, these are connected to the auxiliary battery. I don't have my dual gauge in, but it's showing 12 volts on there right now. And then the main is the starter battery. So now I just gotta wire up my dual volt gauge and we'll be all set. One of the hardest things, especially with this newer machine, is drilling the hole in the dashboard. It hurts. Boys. 
sorry. Boom. It's a look factory. Wiring the gauge is pretty simple. You just fish the wire. I fished it under the hood and one tab. It's got two colors, just like the directions say. One color on one tab, one color on the other tab, and back into your switch. Cut off the extra. They give you plenty in the kit. I had that much extra after I trimmed it off. So it was pretty easy to hook up. Now, if we did everything right, put in our key, voltage. We see 14.1 because the stator is charging the battery. And what'll happen is once the main battery is at charge, see, now it starts charging the auxiliary. Boom. How sweet is that? It's got a blue light on it showing that it's charging both. Pretty cool. 30 minutes of uh, just sitting with the radio and amp on. Charge the main first. It didn't even draw it down that much. Overall, this was a really good kit and I like the battery tray that New Ideas offers. It was really easy to install. The kit works really, really well. And um, we went out riding with it in like 17 degree weather. Everything held up great um, for a full day of bashing around. And it was nice. I redid my switches with a new switch panel that we offer. And I put my radio on a switch there coming off the dual battery so that I can have the radio on while I'm parked. And... All the other lights, of course, are running off the secondary battery. And um, we went out riding with that, using the radio at lunch breaks and things like that. I ran it with all the lights and everything turned on. Heater, light bar, everything. Never had an issue. It was really nice being stopped with the radio on. So for about an hour... We just sat there with the radio playing while we ate some lunch and stuff like that. Buggy fired right back up, ready to go. Everything worked great. So I'm happy with the kit. We have ordered a couple more for our two other Terexes that we have here and also one for the Razor so that all of our buggies are going to have dual battery kits after that. So again, the kit is from uh, Truam. And we also offered it on our website, uh, newideascorp.com. Uh, look under the side-by-side -side UTV parts and you'll see it there. And you can choose the optional battery tray if you want or make your own. Um, I, I thought the battery tray was really easy to use and I didn't have any metal to make my own. So that's why I did that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep the shiny side up. <laughs>